The SteelSeries Apex is a mid-range gaming keyboard that retails for around £90. It sports 22 macro keys that work on four layers, essentially giving you 88 different keys on which to apply macros, but for some reason this isn't the main feature SteelSeries is trying to push. The Apex features a backlighting system with five zones, each of which can be set to any one of 16.8 million colours. While having a backlit keyboard is incredibly useful and often invaluable, I noticed that the backlighting of the Apex is uneven in some places, with certain keys seeming far brighter than others. This is a small gripe, and one which will probably go mostly unnoticed in general use, but it does detract from the overall quality of the keyboard. For its price, the Apex is incredibly well built and has quite a premium feel. It's weighty enough so as not to move around the desk, but light enough to not be too cumbersome if you are lugging it to a tournament. The front of it does, however, stick out quite far to form what I can only assume was meant to be a wrist support, albeit one that's too small to provide any support or comfort, yet too big to be able to ignore. After extended usage of the keyboard, I actually found that this could become quite uncomfortable, so you might want to try one out for yourself to see if it's right for your typing style. Connecting the keyboard is done through a USB 2 cable, but if your computer's USB slots aren't quite powerful enough to light the keyboard, there is a second USB to draw more power. The Apex provides compensation for these lost ports by giving you an extra two on the back. When it comes to actual usage, the keyboard is pretty good. Key presses are nice and firm with no noticeable delay, and the macro keys are sensibly placed. The M keys, situated above the function keys, are also raised, making accidental presses less likely. There are also two bumps on the W key, making it easy to find again without looking. As well as the macro buttons, the Apex has dedicated media control buttons, diagonal directional buttons, and, to the left of the spacebar, a steel series button. This can be used to perform a variety of functions, the most notable being disabling the Windows key with just two presses. Customizing macros is fairly easy. The steel series engine is freely available on their website, and provides a tidy visual interface for setting the function of each key. It is possible to create complex macros, as well as basic key combinations. These can all be stored in different profiles, activated by associated programs. You can also assign multiple programs to one profile, which is helpful if they have similar needs. These different profiles can also have different colour schemes, different polling rates, and even keyboard layouts. I found that switching between profiles can often take a few seconds, probably because of the Apex having to change colours. For most games this shouldn't be an issue, seeing as they'll usually take longer than that to load, but if you have profiles set for slightly more lightweight programs, this could become quite annoying. All in all, the Apex is a pretty good keyboard, both for gaming and for normal usage. If you want a mechanical keyboard, then I'm not entirely sure why you've even bothered watching this far, but this definitely isn't for you. If, however, you want a high-quality backlit keyboard with more macro buttons than it's actually possible to remember, and all for under £100, you're unlikely to find a better deal than this.